hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here. And uh, the last one and a half day has been such an eye-opening experience to see how fantastic women work in different uh, geographic territory and in different historic uh, aspect. What I'm going to present will be quite or entirely different from, from my previous uh, uh, presenters. Uh, however, I think it will uh, indeed cast, uh, shed different lights on this important question about how women work, and just to uh, illustrate also how complex this issue about uh, um, how women work is a complex issue. So uh, my title here is called um, Can Women Have It All? This is a case study of the Chinese female photographer Chen Man. In 2015, photographer Chen Man appeared on China's national television's uh, most uh, important uh, television interview program. When the TV journalists presented her, this is what she said about her. Who is Chen Man? She's a beautiful lady. She's a successful career woman. And she's also married, and she's a mom. Can women have it all? In the TV journalist's point of view, Chen Man almost kickboxed on everything that a woman wished to be. Yes, Chen Man has it all. So now let us meet China's most established and certainly highest paid fashion photographer. At a <coughs> CNN call her and China's Annie Lebwich and her images has changed how the Western world look at China today. She has been taking numerous photos of Chinese celebrities and international superstars, and they are on all the international fashion magazines. In December 2017, I curated Chen Man's first photog uh, museum exhibition uh, outside China, at the, photo, uh, at the photo, Photographic Museum in Stockholm. Over 2,000 people came at the opening. It is quite amazing just to think about, for a woman of merely 40 years old could achieve such achievement in less than 15 years time. To understand Chen Man's successful story is also open a way to understand what happened in China in the past 40 years. So. I will have Chen Man as our guide and first go back to the city where everything started. This is Beijing's old city and the time was 1980, the year when Chen Man was born. The narrow street called Hutong is still dominated by Chinese people wearing the same kind of Mao suits. Colorful clothes can only be seen on children. However, the 1980s also marked the beginning of the changes. Already in December 1978, Deng Xiaoping famously launched reform and open door policy, which laid the foundation for today's China's economic miracle. In the year 1980, the same year as Chen Man was born, one family, one child policy has become a in Chinese uh, in national strategy. This policy too has a very important impact to today's Chinese society. On the fashion front, things also start to happen. We start to have first fashion magazine. Pierre Cardin became the first foreign brand arrived in China. And in 1988, Elle it launched its first uh, ch Chinese edition in, in China. <laughs> but how was it grow up in the 1980s China? This is how Chen Man remembered about her childhood. Hutongs were narrow and neighbors lived close to each other on the same courtyard. In the summer hot days, they ate iced watermelon and Beijing-style cold noodle with sesame paste. My grandma and her friends played mahjong until late night. The sound of mahjong tiles fell on the table would sometimes wake me up from my dreams. Many years later, these elements of childhood would come back to Chen Man's creation and become some important signatures of her photography art. Like here, we have China's most famous Canadian uh, father and son, 
sitting inside a Chinese courtyard eating watermelon. Here, Dolce Gabbana play, playing mahjong inside a Chinese uh, courtyard. Supermodel Du Juan stand inside the hutong, surrounded by young people wearing the time typical 1980s seaman's shirt. <coughs> this is how Chen Man's old home look like today. Since 2001, when, China, when Beijing started to prepare the 2008 Olympics, the biggest gentrification has destroyed almost half of the Chinese uh, of the Beijing old city. To the right side, where we see the M Meiji Hotel is, exactly on that spot, it used to be Chen Man's home. How come that a girl growing up in Beijing's Hutong became an artist? As a young girl, Chen Man showed some interesting art. Immediately, her parents sent her to all kinds of art schools. She learned drawing, painting, and Chinese calligraphies. Her parents are both from Beijing, but they actually met in Inner Mongolia. During the Cultural Revolution, following Mao Zedong's political movement, the millions of Chinese youths were sent to the countryside to be re-educated by the, uh, farmers. And when these youths could finally return to the cities, only to find out that economic reform has made many of the state-owned companies go bankruptcy. The generation of Chen Man's parents would only put their hopes for good life and future to their only child. Chen Man always says, we are the first generation of Chinese youth who have witnessed our parents' dream for good life become true. Now that the material happiness has achieved, what then is next? As a child, Chen Man was very good in her art school and won a lot of prizes, and this made her mother, of course, very proud. One small incident left a strong memory for her childhood when she remembered one day when she returned with her mother holding the art prize reward and passing by the neighbors sitting in the hutong. And one of the neighbors' comments to her was, did you win your prize on swimming competition? Look how dark-skinned you are. Dark skin in China is not a good merit for a girl. Many years later, this dark-skinned Chinese girl would rewrite the rules of beauty. In 2001, Chen Man was enrolled at the Central Art Academy to study photography. The new millennia also mark the economic uh, development and also many new local, uh, local art magazines start to appear. As a third year student, Chen Man got the opportunity to create a set of uh, covers for a local fashion magazine. This is how she remembered when she created this set of um, covers. One thing for sure that she did, no, no one has done before, is no photographer before her ever used Photoshop in the same way as she did. And she basically spent a whole month on one image, centimeter by centimeter, she retouched uh, each photo. And the result became this set of heavily retouched and strongly post-produced uh, images shocked the Chinese photography world. The leading voice from the Chinese photography world, Yurile, middle-aged man, criticized Chen, Chen Man for not making photographies. These are not photographs, they are digital images, uh, they are graphic images. Even the uh, fashion world was shocked by Chen Man's daring combination and how she twisted the models and make them look like a combination of graphic design and some kind of sci-fi cyborger. Years later, Karen Smith, a Shanghai-based British art critic, could praise Chen Man's braveness and call her single-handedly starting a racial revolution in China. And this is only the start. This is another set of images that Chen Man made for ID magazine, 
Again, she did something that no one did before. The photo models she chose for this uh, collection, uh, none of them are professional photo uh, models, but Chen Man went to different schools and pick up young girls, some of them also minority girls. And this contrast makeup and just one front light, she made this set of photos. But again, she was harshly criticized. This time, not for how she made the photo, but how, how she chose the models. Because in the public point of view, these girls with uh, freckles and dark-skinned uh, Tibetan girls, they are just not beautiful enough. Chen Man was even condemned for uglifying Chinese women. Beauty is a very complex issue in many different cultures. However, in China, there are certain criterions that are publicly accepted as how a woman should look like. So now let me us two of China's absolutely most beautiful women. This is Fan Bingbing and Li Bingbing. And um, in the public opinion, these two women, they possess everything that a beautiful woman should have. Uh, porcelain white skin, big eyes, double eyelid, uh, slim face and sharp nose. The search for beauty in China has made China the third largest plastic surgery country in the world. In 2018 alone, nearly 22 million people has done plastic surgeries, and of them, more than half are under the age of 27. Some, some parents even send a plastic surgery as a gift to their graduate, newly graduated, graduated child because having a beautiful face would help them in, the, in this harsh competitive society a better chance in life. When Chen Man was taking photos of these two national goddess, um, she wasn't just uh, satisfied with pursuing how, uh, portraying how beautiful they are. This is Fan Bingbing wearing man's clothes and doing man's stuff. And when Li Bingbing is wearing uh, long pants and smoke a big fat cigar, she's putting herself in a power position. When Chen Man is taking this self-determined, beautiful woman, uh, showing masculine beauty, she's also subverted the masculine, <coughs> the stereotype male gaze on women. <coughs> In Asia, the traditional family beauty should require a woman to be nice and gentle. During the Cultural Revolution, Mao Zedong tried to create some kind of gender equity by eliminating gender differences. Like Chen Man's parents' generation would grow up believing that man and woman, man and woman are the same. However, since 2010, when China's economy is thumb marching on every front, Chinese woman's position on the gender gap uh, index in the world is keeping on falling. In 2018, among the the board, board directors of the public traded companies in China, only 9.4% are women. So when Chen Man was portraying this beautiful woman uh, in their power position, she's indeed also portraying her own intention, like what she said here. I'm not sure my images would fulfill men's fantasies, but I'm pretty confident that I'm fulfill women's fantasies. Now let's look at what make Chen Man's success. Here is Chen Man's Studio Six, a company that she founded and is located in South Beijing. More than 100 people work in the company and the schedules were fully booked. Although Chen Man is the most expensive fashion photographer in China, her, work, uh, day, her working days are nearly um, fully booked until the end of the year. From the business point of view, she's also carefully building up herself as a celebrity photographer. To the right side is Chen Man's name in Chinese and in English. This is a registered uh, trademark. She carefully chosen uh, products and brands to collaborate. Like in the middle, she's collab collaborating with China's luxury brand Shangxia and creating her new uh, lines of clothes. 
and in 2019, she even got her own Barbie doll. Her own personal image also gone through some tra uh, dramatic transformation. When she first appeared in the public's view, she's the funky Chinese girl from Beijing's Hutong. With her fame grow bigger and more and more celebrities' photos were taken by her, her public image also have changed. These are two kinds of Chen Man's public image. To the left uh, is this sweet Chinese girl with profound understanding of Chinese culture, drinking tea and uh, writing Chinese uh, calligraphy. And to the right is this cool professional woman holding a camera and standing, staring at the camera with a very daring pose. She has homes in Beijing and Los Angeles, but most of the time she lives in the hotels. Her marathon husband is taking care of her two young children. When they first met in the university, she was the curious girl from Beijing and she was the funky dude from Los Angeles. And now she's the superwoman of the family and he is homestay dad. So conclusion, can women have it all? Chen Man's success, coherent with China's economic um, growth in the beginning of the millennium, the newly formed the new age, uh, they are consuming uh, their consuming patterns are the same as the global uh, con consumption economy. Um, this fabulous man and woman in Chen Man's images, their flawless faces, perfect bodies, and, and uh, luxury environment are the projection of their own China dreams. Chen Man is the first Chinese photographer who uses elements of contemporary Chinese society and makes them cheap, chic and fashionable. These images are highly recognizable in the Western fashion media and this also helped her to create her international career. She's also open to any kind of uh, in, uh, technology innovation. From the very beginning of her career, she has never been restrained by what photography's definition is. And the waste years, except for retouching photos, she's widely used all kinds of computer technology. Like here, we see LeBlanc James posing a ball in front of a fierce Chinese lion. And this lion is entirely a 3D animation on computer. <laughs> Finally, I think Chen Man's success is very much due to her own woman's status. From taking photos for celebrities behind the camera, she has now become a celebrity in front of the camera. She has 9 million followers in her social media account, and she knows how to use them both for good reason and also for media exposure. Like this image is in 2017, the pink ribbon breast cancer campaign, Chen Man posing herself in this very naked way together with some other celebrities. This group of images become a huge sensation and certainly reached the very high media exposure. Finally, I would just like to use a few words from uh, Ms. Xu Danqing, who is the editor-in-chief of Mary Claire in China, and she has worked with Chen Man several times. This is how she see Chen Man's success. I will leave, leave it for you to read. So, my final words is Chen Man is a self-made hero of our times. Thank you. Thank you.